outside the walls, outside the church walls. I think we as churches need to constantly remind ourselves that real life and real ministry are what happen outside of the church walls. When we're inside the walls, we're encouraged, we're built up in Jesus so we can go outside. So one of the things we wanna do is we wanna regularly recognize the people who are doing the ministry, the life that's happening outside our church walls. Today, we wanna to bless a teacher. Now we can't bless every teacher from every church here in this community or all the teachers at Crossview Church. But on behalf of all the teachers, we wanna bless one teacher today because teachers have one of the biggest impacts on our children outside of parents. And so those of you who are teachers, we love you. We're so thankful for you. What you do and the impact you have is huge. And we just love those of you who do it for Jesus. Let's go. I think during all this COVID stuff, well, and just in general, I think teaching is one of the most thankless jobs. I'm just so thankful for Christians. It's not easy always being a Christian and, uh, and being a teacher. That is just one of the most you know, valuable things that someone can do. So we wanna just keep blessing it forward. We're being salt and light outside the walls. Nathan, how's it going? The reason we wanna do this is it's, we're trying to do something, especially now during COVID. We just wanna keep reminding people that actually real ministry is happening out here. And yeah. so Christians who are just being a light. So awesome. we were thinking of teachers. So teachers is a huge part of that. Mm -hmm. And obviously we can't get to every teacher. That's unfortunate. <laughs> this is a $25 gift card, but we just have a little note. <laughs> Uh, Mason, just Appreciate all you guys, yeah. uh, you teachers doing this, and I know now during COVID too, it's, you're online, yeah. your kids are missing, overflow and all the other stuff. That's been the hardest thing is not being able to, like I'm kind of confined to my cohort, I find. Right. And usually in a normal yeah. year, I get to converse with all kinds of students around. Yeah. But this year, because of our staggered schedule, it's just tough because I can't, yeah. I can't talk to everybody. And that's something I've always enjoyed doing. So. If you had two prayer requests for teachers in general, Right uh, now, what would you say are the two say biggest right ones? Right now, it's just energy. Yeah. And uh, energy. Okay. <laughs> like right, okay. Right now we just we just need the energy. We're almost there, and yeah, uh, I think that's where teachers are at right now. You mind if I just pray for you right now? Absolutely, go for it. God in heaven, we just uh, we thank you for our teachers. This has been a long haul with the COVID stuff. I know there's all kinds of extra responsibilities put on teachers, and Father, we just pray for uh, energy. We pray for strength now. As we get closer to summer, we pray that uh, just on the whole COVID side, Lord, that the students won't get sick, that our teachers will be able to push through, that school won't get canceled. And, uh, and Lord, we just pray that things will, will be able to get back to normal soon and that our teachers will feel encouraged, that those teachers who are feeling discouraged this year would feel encouraged. And as Christians, that we can, we can be an encouragement to our school system. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Perfect. I well, appreciate thanks. it. Yeah, thanks for letting us do this, yeah, Mason, no and thanks for what you're doing. So. Yeah, no problem. Oh, man, we are just so appreciative. Uh, those of you who are Christians, who love Jesus, who are teachers, and uh, obviously, you know, many of you, you can't be overtly religious at school, but you're still being a light. And when you love our kids, it makes a big difference. Thank you for all you do. It's outside the walls. <laughs>